Hey, this is Andrew from Sound Yeti, and I'm gonna take you through a tour of the sculpting page of Collision Effects. Sculpting in Collision Effects offers three convenient controls filtering, equalization, and compression. These controls will help you shape your sound and slot it into your mix. The controls of each parameter on the sculpting page are concentric and placed on top of one another. Each effect parameter is activated by simply interacting with one of the controls. Each effect can be deactivated by clicking on the corresponding button with the effect name on it. We added simple color coding to keep things easy. The smaller blue knob corresponds to the effect parameter with the light blue background label, or the top control. The larger red knob on the outer set corresponds to the effect parameter with the light red background label, or the bottom control. This knob structure will be played out in the rest of the sculpting page. Let's get started in the top left corner with our high and low pass filters. The high pass filter allows you to cut any unwanted low-end frequencies. And the low-pass filter allows you to cut any unwanted high-end frequencies. Both filters' cutoff points are controlled by the outer red knob. The inner blue knob, Q, determines how wide or narrow the EQ band is. Q is perfect for exaggerating specific frequencies and EQ ranges. All right, next up we have compression. Compression is located on the top right corner of the interface. Compression will help automatically turn down the loudest parts of the sound. As a result, making the average level more consistent. You'll also find standard sub-compression parameters inside, such as threshold, ratio, attack, and release. Let's head over to Equalization, located on the bottom of the page. Equalization uses a solid G EQ that was modeled on high-quality analog circuitry. It's a four-band parametric EQ and is laid out in a shelf style. The outer red knobs control gain, while the inner blue knobs adjust the amount of boost or cut of a frequency. Remember, for more precise control, use shift key and click. Also, control or command click to reset each knob. That concludes the sculpting page tutorial. Be sure to check out our other videos, and if you have any questions, drop us a line. Fine tune and enjoy. Thanks for watching.